I walked amongst the rounded hills and trekked through button grass. Scenery surrounded me and many peaks I passed. I stopped a while to rest my bones upon a fallen tree and as I checked the ground around, a strange sight did I see. Upon a log beside my foot, a puzzling sculpture stood. Five green cubes of fibrous content balanced on the wood. What strange beast had passed this way and left these decorations? A nearby ripping, crunching noise disturbed my ruminations. I turned about with trembling heart, not knowing what I'd see. And there I saw a wombat looking quizzically at me. It looked a friendly creature. Its eyes were small and bright. Hello there, the wombat said. I nearly died of fright. I wasn't too familiar with marsupials that spoke. I had assumed the wombats were a silent sort of folk. Those droppings there, I pointed. To what do they belong? Those, they're mine, the wombat said. They haven't been there long. But why are they stacked up like that? Why plonk them on a log? It seems a lot of trouble to spend going to the bog. Finally, the wombat spoke. I guess that you should know, more than nature's gentle urgings determine where we go. That artifice, that sculpture, that well-constructed pile identifies this place as mine with its distinctive style. The size of each cube segment and their placement tells a story. Any wombat seeing this knows they're in my territory. Ah, I said. I understand your message etched in faeces, but does that sculpted scat apply to any other species? Don't worry, mate, the wombat said. You're not a threat to me. I'll see you around. I'm off to graze some surges for my tea. With that, the wombat trundled off, left me to contemplate... Round objects roll, but cubed ones don't, not in their natural state. Next time you see the cube-shaped droppings, don't sneer with derision. They're the faecal art of wombats, deposits of precision.